so back again with my old um, sheet music book and I think I said in another video that I'm wondering how to use it and I think I'm going to try to make this into a portfolio um, to put my paintings in so I've cleaned it up as much as I can but I mean I'm not going to get it much better than this. I mean, I couldn't get some of these things off. And I don't really care because it's just for my use. <laughs> um, so anyway, I thought I'd show you what I, how I go about it and what I'm going to do. So if you look at the spine, it's absolutely had it. Um, now, I am not a book restorer. So, yeah, I don't quite know. What I'm going to do but anyway I am going to start off by taking the book apart and it's done for me <laughs> it's literally fallen away so that bit's done uh, but this side um, oops if I can find my uh, if I can find my knife which I can't seem to find yeah, you'd think I'd be better prepared but there you go um so yeah, you can see these old books, they were made really well, which is why it's lasted as long as it has. So anyway, I'm going to cut this bit now, this string. And that should release it. So in here we've got lovely old sheet music, and I'm sure I'll find a use for that. Right. Now, what to do with this? So, first of all, I think I need to stabilize this. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to put, well, I think I'll do it. I think I'll take off any last bits, tufty bits. Um, then I think what I'll do is put a strip of paper along here and then I'm going to use masking tape. Um, I thought about putting masking tape on straight away but I don't want it to stick, I don't want this to stick straight onto the masking tape because what I want to do is use um, something like Mod Podge to stabilize it onto a surface. So the first step will be to put something, quite a strong bit of paper down there and then go in with the masking tape. And this is really good because it's strong and it's fabric and it's bendy. So that's what I'll do and I'll come back when I've done it. Okay, so I have cut, this is uh, like sort of canvas paper, I'll show you, from a canvas pad, and I've cut it down to size, and I needed another strip because it's so tall, this book, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fabric glue, which is quite strong. And I'm going to stick it, avoiding, I don't want the glue to go on that bit, if you see what I mean. So I'm going to put Next step is masking tape. So 
So here's the masking tape that's gone down. Um, duct tape, I should say, not masking tape, duct tape. And I actually did an extra couple of strips to make sure that it sort of overlapped right onto the boards. So if I turn it over, here is the spine and now I don't know if this next bit is going to work but what I'm intending to do is stick this down using Mod Podge. Which I'm hoping will, mm, I'm hoping it will give a kind of flexible finish. And anyway, we'll see. If it doesn't work, this will be all rigid and it won't. It won't be very good. Um, I'm going to have a go. It's not imperative that I keep this spine. Um, I'm just going to see if I can. So... So this is now dried um, and, well, it's worked okay. Uh, there's a bit of a few gaps here, which I don't really like the look of, but um, I have seen in art shops and craft shops that you can now buy um, duct tape that's coloured. It's quite colourful. So what if I... Next, when I next see it, I'll look for a red, and I might just put that down the spine, just to tidy it up a bit because it is very scruffy. <laughs> look at it. Anyway, um, the inside looks like this, and that's worked quite well. So what I'm thinking now is, bring it down a little bit. Um, I need to. What I'd like to do is line it, and I'm thinking this is massive. I don't know if I've got any papers for that. And then I remembered that I have this roll of, oh gosh, it's just too bright, isn't it? Let me see if I can adjust. I'll only bring it to here. I won't, I won't go over this foldy bit because this is going to get lots of movement. So that's what I'll do. I'll do that and I'll stick it down and then I'll come back and show you and hopefully the light will be better. So sorry about the light. So here are my two pieces, which I carefully cut using my grid so that all the corners were square, etc. Um, and you see I've left a gap for where it folds. And now I'm going to paste these down and stick them onto the board. And I'm going to use paper paste. And then round the edges, I'm going to use something a bit stronger, probably something like this. So, doing the next side to show you how I do it. I reckon that because this is wallpaper, a kind of wallpaper type paste will be best for it. And I'm using my spreader to spread it all out. putting this stuff around the edges.
I'm just going to show you a quick trick. Um, oh, I made this edge and it wasn't quite right, it's gone too far. So, quickly before the glue has properly dried, the ruler goes in, then another ruler comes here and trimming begins. And then keep on. It's worth spending time washing these out, but it will depend on your standards. I don't mind it being a bit wonky, but you might. So, yeah, you might consider do, using different glues or whatever, but. It will depend on the paper that you use. But I'm quite happy to have a little bit of warping. And, um, yeah. This is how it's looking so far. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bit more to try and get as much out of it, um, as much air bubbles out as I can. So, now I'm wondering about how to close this holder. And so I've got my ribbon hoard, because I keep every bit of ribbon that I get on flowers or anything like that. Gifts that people give me, I always save the ribbons. And so, um, gosh, this is quite a fancy one, isn't it? But the gold would go nicely, wouldn't it? Mmm, maybe. How much have I got? See, I might not have enough. Mmm. That's a possibility. And then I've got this. This is quite good, isn't it? It's quite similar colour. And I have got quite a bit of this one. Slightly different colour. Oh, I've got two lots. Hmm, lots to think about. Oh gosh, look at that one, isn't that gorgeous? Deep. And besides all that, I've got to actually decide um, how I will construct the opening, the closure, I mean, the opening. What am I on about? Closure, right. So, what I could do is I could, what I think I might do in fact, is drill a hole or punch a hole and have the ribbon knotted at the back. And what it could do is it could go around and come back. And then on this side, I'd have one that just went around and then they would meet in the middle and that's where you'd tie the bow. Very simple. And the other thing that I need to think about is when I'm putting my pages in here that will keep it shut, the, the closure will keep it shut that way but papers could fall out either end and I was thinking about putting a, a sort of a flap sort of along here Oops, let me show you along here. But I don't think that's going to work because it's going to be clumsy and bulky. So what I think I'll do is I'll get a, just a flap that sticks out to there. You put the pages in and then you fold it over and then when this shuts, it all holds in. Does that make sense? I think it'll make sense when I do it and I'll show you. <laughs> so I'll come back in a minute when I've done it well. It'll take me more than a minute, but for you, it will be the blink of an eye. So just coming in here to show you um, 
what I'm doing. So the um, folder's on its side now and I'm just making these flaps. So what I've done is I've cut these out very carefully. I found an old bit of um, offcuts from a velvet curtain, which is quite lovely, red velvet. And in typical junk journal fashion, I'm utilizing a seam that has already been made. Not, not a seam, is it a seam? Oh, an edging. It's been folded over and sewn very nicely, probably by my husband's mother, actually. But anyway, um, so I'm utilizing that as a edge. Um, I've done the same on this side. And I've measured three centimeters in. It's gonna be my guide. And then I'm going to stick, using fabric glue, stick this part down so that when it's dry, I'll be able to bend this up. And this will fold over quite nicely and this will be, these will be my flaps. So that's what I'm going to do next. And so here it is. Finished. Finished folder. And I think it works pretty well. It's just a bit large. <laughs> so Here's the ribbons. These are just a simple, simple knot and a knot here. And the flaps come up and they keep, they stop my artwork from slipping out the sides. So yeah, you could use any large book and do the same kind of thing. Um, you could use it for storing papers um, and cuttings and what have you. And yeah, I think it's a nice way of using this old, very old book. And every time I look at it, I'll, I'll get some pleasure from it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial and it's given you some ideas to make something for yourself and come back soon, like, subscribe and all those kinds of things and I hope to see you again.